Welcome to lesson 5. In the previous lesson, we learned a little more about other distributed solutions and their limitations to solve common business problems. In this lesson, we would explore a little tricky topic with Hadoop, its versions. Hadoop follows the standard release nomenclature denoted in the form of x.y.z, where x signifies as major releases, y signifies as minor releases, and z signifies as the point releases which may fix some bugs. A change in major release can break the backward compatibility. That means that there can be a few features that can be discontinued or implemented in a different fashion in the next releases. In those cases, the code needs to be changed and recompiled. For example, a code written in Hadoop x.o.o may not be compatible with Hadoop version x plus 1.o.0. This break in compatibility is not certain but can happen. In those cases, we have to refer to the release notes of X plus 1. Hadoop code won't break the compatibility between the minor and point releases, which means the code written in Hadoop x.o.o would be compatible with the minor release x.1.0 and the point release x.1.1. Apache Hadoop is best known for its MapReduce and its distributed file system HDFS but it has a family of projects around it which work well together. This is referred to as Hadoop's ecosystem. The other projects are Pig, Hive, Edgebase, Zookeeper, Scoop, Fume, etc. which we would look at later in the course. These projects have their own releases and a particular version would be compatible only with a few versions of Hadoop. So it gets highly complicated to deploy the ecosystem which are compatible within each other. Apache BigTop is a project which deals with the development and packaging of a compatible ecosystem. This is where other vendors like Cloudera and Horton score over Apache. Their releases are easier to understand and are compatible within the ecosystem. Let us look at the recent releases of Hadoop which are important to know. All was pretty good till Hadoop 0.20. Complexity starts after this. Hadoop.20 got extended to .20.2 and .21. The .21 changed their APIs to increase programming efficiencies and later .23 improved architecture to implement MapReduce Runtime YARN, HDFS Federation and high availability. On the other hand, Hadoop.20.2 moved towards a stable release .20.205 which added a Kerberos authentication. This release is stable and popular and has been implemented in business. Thus, Hadoop.20.205 became Hadoop 1.0. The version .23 is not Hadoop 2 officially yet as I make this video, but it has been speculated to be 2.0. There is even a possibility that it may be named Hadoop 3.0 and in that case, version .22 would become Hadoop 2.0. In this slide, we will see the difference in features between the releases. To understand these differences easily, I would suggest you to think it as Hadoop 1.x to be an early implementation of Hadoop, which could not accommodate all the architectural features from the Google paper, while .23 is the one which is closer to the original Google paper. Think of version .22 as a bridge between the two which improved a few programming efficiencies by introducing new APIs. And so features would be easier to understand. 1.x uses the old configuration names, while .22 upgraded to new configuration names and so .23. The old configuration names are supported but are deprecated in .22 and .23. Exactly same is the case with the APIs. 1.x uses the old APIs while .22 uses new APIs and so does .23. .22 and .23 supports the old APIs to maintain backward compatibility. The architectural change to get closer to Google paper has been done to MapReduce runtime in .23 release, while .22 and 1.x work on old classic MapReduce 1. Another architectural upgrade to HDFS federation and HDFS high availability has been done in .23 release. 
Hadoop 1.x had improved in secure Kerberos authentication, which is not in .22 release but has been covered in .23 release. This wraps up the discussion in regards to Apache Hadoop releases. As an exercise, I would suggest you to search a little more on Apache Big Talk project.